Live from the CBS Broadcast Center, this is CBS 2 News at 11. New tonight, what some are claiming to be the secret to eternal youth. And the answer might be in young blood. It is a controversial new treatment that may hold promise, but at a price. It does appear to reverse the aging process. Dr. Jesse Carmazin is talking about transfusions with the young blood from teenagers. And he says it just may turn back the hands of time. That blood is going to patients over 35 as part of a clinical trial called Ambrosia, where subjects paid $8,000 to get the rich growth factors found in the platelets in blood's plasma. This pretty much people from most states, people from overseas, from Europe and Australia. There have not been any published results, but the intriguing concept still found its way into pop culture. It's my transfusion associate. Dr. Karmazin says patients who have had it say they feel amazing, and he has seen evidence of reversing the aging process in rats. Their brains are younger, hearts, their, their hair if it was gray, it turns dark again. There has also been encouraging Alzheimer's research using young blood at Stanford. We found that it was safe and feasible to administer infusions of young plasma weekly. Dr. Sharon Shaw is a researcher who says they have seen evidence of improvement in functional ability. It's all very exciting that there can be components in blood that could be healing. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP treatments, using a patient's own blood have been in demand as trendy vampire facials to fight wrinkles and as joint and tissue treatments to accelerate healing. A lot of good is in blood. Dr. Human Corazani is using those rich PRPs in a study at Mount Sinai to regrow hair. We can actually use um, your own blood to stimulate the body. The study is ongoing, but seeing short-term results, Dr. Khorasani is optimistic. It looks very positive. Experts agree there is still more research that needs to be done. There's still a lot of unknowns and a lot of factors that we don't know when we're actually getting another person's growth factors and nutrient injected in us. Dr. Karmazin says that he plans to open a young blood lab in New York in the coming months.